Zombieverse. Yeah, you heard me right. A horror movie about zombie beavers. Who wouldn't want to see that? Me. Me. I didn't. But I watched it. For you. Describing this movie and watching an old person getting out of a chair have the same uncomfortable feeling. Like, this movie can be best summed up by saying if Lana Rhodes, Friday the 13th, and The Incredible Bulk had a baby. Yeah, that's what we're working with. The movie opens with two guys in a delivery truck. The driver is chatting up about his, um, experience with men in the past, and the gaydar goes off between the driver and passenger. Then the passenger goes... Hey man, you see that deer up there? Yeah, I see. I don't think you do. And Dusty was never seen again. But along with the six atoms remaining of Dusty goes a barrel of radioactive waste into a pond. And where does that wind up? That's right, a, a beaver den. And then we forget about those characters, because look, a girl in the men's room. Turns out these girls' boyfriends are lovely people, so they decided to get as far away from them as possible. And they choose a cabin in the middle of the woods with no cell service. Oh my goodness, is this a horror movie? Anyways, they arrive and go in while one... And they decide to skinny dip in the lake, or one of them does. I guess the point was to make every 12-year-old watching blush, but, you know, melons. So they swim over to a, you got it, beaver dam, and see radioactive waste all over. And then they go, Ew, is that that green beaver you're in? Yeah, they assume it's piss. What is with this movie and piss? Anyways, then a hunter guy comes over and says, Hey, them beavers is dangerous. And then proceeds to stare at the melons. So they s and then tells them to go put some clothes on. So they go back and get super drunk. Like, very drunk. Like, okay, maybe not that drunk. But then they hear a thud outside, and one girl decides to say, Hey, serial killers, we got three hot babes in here who haven't had sex in a really long time. Turns out, it's their boyfriends. So two of them get just that. But these two decide to just sit around. It was helpful. Thanks for stopping. And then he gets his nuts kneed and fall to the ground. So while Blondie goes to the bathroom to recover, you know who shows up? That's right, Zombie Beaver. And then they bash the beaver's head in and put it outside because zombies are well known for staying dead. So the next morning, they decide to go for a swim in the lake with zombie beavers. Good idea! So guess who shows up? Zombie beavers! So while this guy gets his leg chewed off and this girl gets her dog sacrificed, this girl goes inside, Blondie. And guess who greets her? Zombie beavers! Does the title make sense yet? So they all regroup and decide to call for help on the landline, but the line was cut. Who cut it, you say? Zombie be- Yeah, this is getting annoying. Anyways, they decide to get out of there. And these three hop into a car, but there happens to be a branch in the way. And guess who knocked it? You, you know by now. But there's a truck nearby with guns and an axe. Convenient. So the guy gets out to grab the axe and a tree falls in. Do I need to say zombie beavers? Zombie beavers. Then that hunter guy shows up just a bit too late and shoots the beaver. So they hop back in the truck and drive back to camp. Since they're all super safe feeling, they boarded up the doors and windows. So while they take those down to let these two in, a horde of beavers shows up. So they do the sensible thing and then run. And th no, they walk slowly towards the neighbor's house. So when they get there, everyone is dead. Or are they? So they use the house as a home base. But then something goofy happens back at the cabin. Blondie turns into a full-blown zombie beaver person and kills the guy, but the other girl escapes. Meanwhile, at the neighbors, this guy also turns into a zombie beaver person and tries to kill everyone. And while the girl has the gun in her hand pointed at the hunter, she goes ahead and shoots, drops the gun, and runs upstairs. And the upstairs neighbor's wife had also gone zombie beaver person mode. Oh no. So she goes ahead and jumps out the window. Eventually, the two survivors meet up and drive away and see, this is not a joke, a zombie beaver bear. 
So they get out and walk away until this chick pulls out a gun and says, you're gonna go sicko mode and try to kill me. The other girl says, these aren't bites, I jumped out a window. Then the other chick, while accusing her of being bit, turns into a zombie beaver person and attacks her. But this girl has a sneaky secret loaded weapon and proceeds to remove her head with an axe. Then she walks all the way to the highway where an all too familiar truck rolls up. She calls to the truck and the passenger says, Hey, you see that girl? Yeah, I see her. I trust you. So yeah, Zombievers. If that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what will. If you could take a moment out of your busy schedule and ring-a-ling the like button or sub button, I'd appreciate that because I'm pretty sure this movie is considered psychological torture. Melons. So they 